Be honest. How often do you catch yourself at an intersection waiting for the green light so you can give the order? Take us out. Let's go. Do it. Hit it. Watch it. Let's fly. End game. Unless you've been stuck in a cave episode, chances are you've heard of going to warp, traveling faster than the speed of light. But what does that even mean? And what's being warped in the first place? Space, the final frontier. 119 years ago, science knew that gravity was a thing. They just hadn't figured out what it was or how it worked. Then Einstein entered the chat and became the new main character with the greatest verse in science history. If the universe is my heart, my. It's a beautiful woman. She got so much life. She got so much mass. Now it's space time. It's warp and space time. So did she put a curve? So did she put a curve? Where there once was a straight line. Where there once was a straight line. I ain't trying to be explain. I ain't trying to explain. What the theory of relativity? Work to your mother. So it boils down to mass. The faster you move through space, the more massive you become, until eventually, well, there isn't enough gas in the whole universe to fill the tank. Objects with even the tiniest amount of mass just can't travel at the speed of light, which sucks because even at the speed of light, the very nearest star is just over four years away. But just when it seems like all hope is lost, Einstein takes the wheel. Nothing in the math says you can't move faster than the speed of light by moving the universe around you. Think about dropping a bowling ball right into the center of a trampoline. The bowling ball represents, let's say, the sun, and the trampoline's fabric represents space-time itself. Now, obviously, this example is two-dimensional, and the real fabric of space is three-dimensional, but doing it this way makes it easier to digest. Think about tossing a smaller ball like a ping-pong ball toward the bowling ball going to spin around the well the bowling ball has made in the trampoline. Gravity works the same way. It turns out that by creating a gravity well just like the one the bowling ball did in the trampoline but in front of your spaceship instead, you would be able to essentially propel yourself. But wait, where in the hell are we going to find something massive enough to create a gravity well that big? This is where the warp and warp drive comes into play. Fun fact, anyone who's ever tried microwaving a TV dinner knows that if you don't cut vents into the film depicted here in this AI generated nightmare image, it'll scare the shit out of you when it pops in the microwave. But what causes that pop? It's energy. As the microwaves crash into the moisture in the sealed package, they excite those molecules causing them to vibrate faster. As they heat up, the water molecules expand until the film pops. So introducing energy into a system causes it to expand. In the early 90s, a Mexican physicist, Miguel Alcubierre, created a simulation with the intent of figuring out how to make warp drive a reality. He basically threw out the computer's programming code, telling it to just do the math, and got an eye-opening result. It turns out that just as adding energy to a system like space can cause it to expand, using negative energy can cause it to contract. Now it's important to note that while negative energy has not yet been observed in nature, there's nothing in the science that forbids it. Fascinating. So by contracting space in front of your spaceship with negative energy and expanding space behind it with regular energy, you essentially create a zone of unaffected space, a warp bubble. And because in your warp bubble you're not moving through space, but rather moving space around you like a cosmic treadmill, you can't violate the cosmic speed limit. And that's how the science of movies gave us a working warp drive. She got so much life. She got so much mass. Now it's space time. It's warp and space time. So did she put a curve? So did she put a curve? Where there once was a straight line. Where there once was a straight line. Did we get it? Good. I have to go deal with my baby mama. <laughs>